Until I reached the grand old age of 30, I had no interest in political life at all. But then one night, I had a dream in which the sprite Ariel came to me and she smothered me in ketchup. And just as I thought she was about to lick it all off, she whipped out her wand and uttered an incantation in Hindi. So I woke up, all sticky, and looking out the window, I saw I was about to get a parking ticket. I rushed downstairs and prevented this misfortune. The warden was an Indian gentleman, so I asked him to translate the Hindi incantation. And he said, well, it's something like this. Life is not just one big laugh. You should stop worshipping the golden calf. That is my command. Oh, and you really need a bath. I added the last bit myself, he said. From then on, I stopped living my life as if it were a sonata marked Largo. Yes, I became a marcher, a doer of good deeds. I stopped holding myself aloof from the hoi polloi. I got down and dirty in there in the soup kitchens of this city. And, after a while, my big chance came in the unexpected shape of a spaceman and a giant praying mantis stumbling drunkenly together over St. James's Park in the middle of the night. Next thing I knew, the spaceman accosted me and said, Excuse me, sir, I'm in a bit of a fix. Uh, me and my friend here were having a little adult fun when I mislaid the key to this manacle that is manacling this dear insect and me together. Could you help? Well, I had my bolt cutters in my pocket, so I just cut the handcuffs and set them free. First class, said the spaceman, and he whipped off his helmet. Turned out it was David Cameron, and guess what? The praying mantis was Nick Clegg. Come back with us to Downing Street, they said, and have a nightcap. So we sneaked in through the annex, and while we were drinking, I told them of my political aspirations. They took a shifty at me. Then David said, well, to be honest, you're full of vitality, but still you're fundamentally a chav in your Hawaii shirt and your Bermuda shorts and what not. But we could make you an ambassador to hot places to which nobody else wants to go to. That sounds great, I said. I'll go to Ethiopia. I'll even go to Iraq. E. But I abhor Mallorca.